Rather than blow the whole structure up from top to bottom, potentially scattering debris for miles around, the plan for this job is to destroy the base and watch the tower fall to the ground like a giant concrete tree. There is a three-stage strategy in place and it'll require a combination of mechanical and explosive force. Stage one, the defunct data center at the base of the tower will need to be destroyed first. The team will have to be extremely careful doing this. If they damage any of the tower's three supporting legs in the process, the tower could come crashing down without any control. That could spell disaster. Stage two, with the three legs now exposed, it's time to plant the explosives. A tower this big can't be allowed to just fall in any direction. So the placement of the charges is critical to controlling the collapse. With the local highway so close, any mistakes could be catastrophic. Stage three, boom time. This is where we find out if all of the hard work has paid off. If things go to plan, it will topple in the least destructive or dangerous direction possible. If it doesn't, they'll be left with a major incident on their hands. To add to the pressure, the tower is no longer as stable as it once was. So it's not the safest environment to be working in even before we bring dynamite into the equation. The tower is unstable, the concrete is wrong. Water getting into cracks in the concrete freezes and expands during the winter months, making the cracks bigger and in time, potentially forcing the tower to start falling apart of its own accord. The tower is unsafe for the people who are walking around the tower and the people who is riding on the highway just around the tower. Before stage one of the plan can swing into action, the team are going to have to deal with an issue that could potentially stop this demolition in its tracks. Another tower nearby is emitting electromagnetic waves. Those waves could block the signal sent from the remote control to the detonators that will set off the explosives once they've been placed on the tower. The explosives expert on this job, Etienne Le Chirlier, is well aware of the possible ramifications. We must be certain that we don't have any uh, electromagnetic uh, interference with our detonators. 